What's up friends? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you and another person could both live stream together with high quality audio and video into say Twitch or to YouTube live or whatever you wanted. The idea behind this is me and another Ableton trainer wanted to do a webinar, but we both wanted to be able to present and to have both of our audio and video in the same stream and I could start presenting and then whenever I wanted to share his audio out of Ableton Live, we would just switch the feed over to him and this is how we did that. So everything we're gonna use to make this work is free, except for if you have a PC, you might consider buying something like virtual audio cable or if you are on a Mac, then you're in good shape. Uh, I'm using Soundflower for this tutorial, but you could use other audio software like Sound Siphon or Loopback is another good one. But we're also gonna need OBS to be able to pipe in our audio and video and to stream out into Twitch or YouTube Live or wherever you want. And that is compatible with both Windows and Macs. So the first thing we wanna do is route the audio out of Ableton Live so we can have good quality audio being streamed. I already installed Soundflower, so that should show up here in the audio output device if you install it correctly. You could also do this in Logic or whatever DAW you're using, but Ableton is the best in my mind so we're gonna use that I'm using Soundflower out 2 channel so when it comes installed it'll have 64 channel and 2 channel I'm using 2 channel out of Ableton Live and you can use other audio routing tools like Sound Siphon or Loopback or whatever so now we've got OBS open if you're not familiar with OBS there's a lot of tutorials out there so for the audio portion of OBS we're gonna go to preferences and then once we go to preferences we'll choose the audio tab and then I've got three audio device inputs that I can use. And the first is Soundflower 2 channel we just looked at, which Ableton Live is coming into OBS. And then we have Soundflower 64 channel, which is going to be our Zoom audio capturing my friend's voice during our conference call. And then we have the Scarlett 4i4, which is my interface that has my microphone that I'm talking into right now. So the next thing I need to do is set up this audio in the mixer section. And so if you click this little gear icon down here, now I can choose properties. You'll see it's gonna show which device is coming in. So this is our two channel, and we can rename these two in a way that makes sense. So I can just choose rename. And then this will be our 64 channel Soundflower. So the next thing we need to do is set up our monitoring because we wanna make sure that I'm only hearing the things I need to hear on my end during this uh, two person live stream. I'm gonna to go to advanced audio properties. And now you can see over here on the left, we've got our audio inputs and you can even increase or boost the volume here if you wanted to for the input. Um, I down mixed the vocals to mono. So I'm gonna choose monitor and output for Soundflower and then for me, for my own vocal, cause I don't need to hear myself twice, that would be weird. I'm gonna turn monitor off. So the next thing we need to do is get Zoom's audio out into OBS, which is what we're gonna do now. So now down here at the bottom left, there's this microphone option. We're gonna have my Scarlett interface cause that's what my microphone is going through as the input for the microphone. And then we have select a speaker. I'm gonna choose Soundflower 64 channel, sending all the Zoom audio out into OBS. The goal is to have both of us being able to be seen for a live stream in the same feed so you can hear both of us talking and see us at the same time. Uh, so what we need to do is a little bit of a workaround. We need to turn on share. So I'll have to share my screen in order to see it. Now there is a new window that pops open right here. And so now you can see both of us and OBS recognizes that as its own window. So what I need to do is add a new source and then I'm gonna go into window capture and I'll click okay. And then what I need to do is say, show windows with empty names. So we wanna select this, make sure that's checked. And then that'll allow us to bring in this window into OBS. So when I open that, you'll see a ton of different little zooms down here. It's one of these, I just gotta find it. So now I can actually use both of us in OBS and expand or collapse that window. Next thing I wanna do is show Ableton Live screen in the background. So I'm going to add another source display capture and hit okay. And now you can see Ableton Live shows up. You can choose whatever screen you have. I have two monitors right now. So now you'll notice that our faces went away because the order of these sources matter. So you notice if I pull display, display capture on top, that disappears. So the whole point of what I just did is basically so that my friend on Zoom can be heard in my live stream 
when I'm streaming out of Ableton Live. So I have both of our voices in the same stream talking so we can talk and converse, but we have my Ableton Live project streaming through high quality audio. Here's where it gets a little tricky um, to go back and forth. So he could do the exact same thing that I just did with all the audio routing in Zoom, OBS, Soundflower, and I get the same result. And the way that we would go back and forth in a feed on YouTube Live or Twitch is this. So let's say I wanted to do YouTube Live. So I would go to Live and then inside of YouTube, we would set up a new stream. I'd choose new stream. I'll create a title, just call it blah. We should see these options down here with stream keys. And so I can copy this stream key and I would share this with the other person in Zoom. Now I would recommend not sharing your stream key with anybody you don't trust because then they could just hack your account and stream on it anytime they wanted. But I'm going to send this to my friend in Zoom so that he could plug this into OBS as well. So I've got that YouTube live stream key and this could work for Twitch or any other live streaming platform except for Facebook Live. And I'll tell you why in a second. So if I go into preferences, then I would choose the streaming service and I would say YouTube and then I would just delete that stream key, add this stream key, hit OK. And then now I can hit start streaming. And when I do that, we should see the green light down here in the bottom right corner. And if I pull up YouTube, then you should see a preview. And now you can actually see OBS popping up over here and you can see both of our screens in there at the same time. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. So if I'm presenting, everybody right now can hear on the other end of YouTube, my audio, my microphone, they can hear uh, my friend Ben's microphone, and then they can see our faces and they can hear my Ableton Live project at a high quality audio stream. Now, when Ben wants to actually stream, uh, my friend on Zoom, he's gonna have the exact same setup that I just showed you, but what I need to do in OBS is during the live stream, I'm going to have him hit start stream and I'm gonna choose stop stream. And there's about a four to five second changeover at that point. So the screen might go black, but as long as he hits start stream and I hit stop stream, um, then I'll be able to have it switch over to him. And then when I want to go back and present my audio and my video, then I'm just going to choose start stream before he hits stop stream. I've tested this out on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube so far. And uh, drop a link in the comments if you guys have any issues or if you have any ideas of a better way to do this. But I found with Facebook Live, it completely kills the feed if you try to switch streams. YouTube and Twitch, it actually works. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys as far as being able to have a webinar format into a live stream on social. And uh, yeah, drop your thoughts in the comments and stuff. If you have better ideas or workarounds, please let me know. I'm Dan Giffen, I produce under the artist name Philia, and I'm an Ableton certified trainer. Hope you guys dug this tutorial. Have a really super dope week, and I'll see you guys later.